Hello, welcome to Anson Griffith's occasional series in YouTube tutorials for MATLAB. Today I'm looking at data cleaning or ugly data and just to get this out of the way, uh, this work is not my own. It's the ugly data app available on the MATWORK Central file exchange. So that's there. You can see the number of downloads in the last month. Uh, we're in September 2018. So I'm right there, I got a pick of the week. So there's a description there. And there's more there, it's the same, okay. And I'm fairly sure that this only works from 2017 B on. So if you look up here, if you're in trouble, it doesn't work. If you read the comments, um, you just get some of the comments there about what releases, but I'm fairly sure it's 2017 B. So I'll shut that down. Because I have a lot of screens open here. You download, you install it, and when you install it, it'll come under My App. So I've downloaded three apps from the MATLAB Central File Exchange: the GPU Bench, Numerical Computing with Clive Bowler, and my Ugly Data app. So there it is. So you just press the button, and up it pops, and when you pop it up there it is and just in case we have data there I'm just going to do a start over and there is a very decent help just there if you're new to this and when you get the help you know, it, you know there's really in a way no need for this video it's just trying to show you but the, the help is fairly good and it tells you uh, all about it there okay so we're just going to run it and explain some things not all things but just what's going on so i'm going to get rid of that and just if you're completely new to this just 30 seconds or so why you want the data clean uh, you'd like your data to be have the following attributes that are listed there and obviously this doesn't happen all the time so you may get coding errors. You put in an exam score of minus 55 or plus 1500 or whatever. On a Likert scale, you put in six or minus four, you put in two and a half or something like that. Or more likely, it's missing data values. And we leave that up there because we're going to go back to that in a second. So there's our ugly data app. Uh, now, so the sample data provided, so data.power, and there's there. Okay. Excuse me. <coughs> so there's the uh, data there, and you can see there's a fair number of zero, so the data wasn't recorded. So what we're going to examine is first how to get rid of those zeros. So before we do anything else, uh, and there's the data, as we can see, that's there. There's a missing value. There's a missing value, etc. So how do we tackle that? How do we get rid of the zeros? Do you want to delete and, and do you want to put in a guess or what do you want to do? So, we're going to put in NANs, and NAN stands for not a number when y equals zero. So we're just going to assume that you missed today recording the power data, so zero was recorded. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to guess a number, an intelligent guess for the zero. So we're going to find the zeros put in an NAN and then we're going to fill with a method. Now there are different filling methods here. So the spline, that would be sort of a, you're getting the curve and you're making a more intelligent guess. You can put in the previous value, you can put in the value ahead of it. You can get a moving moon, mean, a moving median, etc. So there are different options, but I'm just going to go for the simple one and that's the linear one. So the value before the zero, 
the value after the zero, add them up, divide by two. Now, I did that, and I exp there's a way of exporting the data to Excel. So there's, we put, we picked up the not ANs, the NANs, so we found that. And then in step two, we're going to put in the uh, missing numbers, which I think is there. There we are. There's step two. So remember from the previous one, that was a zero. So that was an NAN. So we took that value. That's cell B2, cell B4, added them up and divided by two. And just to check that I did it right. There we are, just to check. I got the same answer. So that's step two. So, but there are different methods here of putting in uh, values for the missing value. I suppose the spline uh, would be, the spline here would be better be sort of, sort of a, a more intelligent guess. He'd be looking at the curve and, you know, guessing where in the curve the missing value is. But, you know, what do you do? Now we want to detect outliers. And as I say to my students, um, I'm a bit loath to dump outliers because if the data is recorded and you know and you think you recorded it right, um, you know, I'd be a bit slow just to throw it out because it, look, it doesn't look right. But given that, this is just the way of doing it. So an outlier would be a, you know, a gross error or something along that line. So you on the exam score you put in 155 rather than 0 to 100 now the program shouldn't let you do that but that's for another day's work so there are different ways of detecting the outlier etc and in the method i'm going to do we're going to take enable outlier detection we're going to take the mean and the threshold factor is three so we're going to take the mean there are so there's the mean where the mouse is three standard deviations above is there three standard ba deviations below is there so if the value is lying between there and there it's good and then above here a trouble and outlier here trouble as well so we're going to go with that so now if you remove the outliers do you want to put in values instead of them yep and we're going to put in the linear method that i described before okay hope that's okay so we're guessing values and then so we've done that i have an excel version for the grubs test on my youtube channel if you want to look that up Now we're on to the smoothing. So the smoothing would be if you was a spike, you know, a spike upwards or a spike downwards. Kind of, you would think that it would be uh, well not an error, but that <coughs> it'd be something unusual. So you'd want to try and smooth out that big peak. So excuse me, site. So right here on smoothing. Apologies. There we are, we're on the smoothing. And we're going to do a moving mean, so say whether it's five or seven or ten or thirteen or whatever it is. So you're going to do a running average of order twelve or a running average of it's usually odd, a running average of order five, order seven, order nine, order eleven. Window size here, set to five. Okay. So that's it. Now, just one thing, the code generation, it matters the order you did it. So we're doing insert, not a number, fill, find and fill outlier. So we're doing it that way. When you've all of that done, if you want, you can generate a script or you can generate a function. And you may also export to the workspace or export to Excel data, so whatever you want. So let's just say I go to clean data to Excel file. And we just say name something like this, cleaned. 
op deze. He waits a second now. The Excel file will open. Uh, no, I don't. We wait a second. And there it is. Name of the file is cleaned up later. <coughs> and there we have this column B is the cleaned up data. Uh, here in column C, We've got the not a number in the x whether it's true or false if we remember the second reading that's row three remember there was a zero so that was a not a number and then the outlier index i seem to remember there's one around 1280 Can't find it just now. I had it there. In the, uh, sorry, thirteen eighty. So let's go back to the cleaned up data. Thirteen eighty. So just there, that was an outlier. It was true and. We detected it and we filled it in with a different value. Okay, hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.